Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to the Long Dark Winter Mute Episode 4. So, we basically just had something big go wrong in the prison. Oh, Frank. Oh. So, that's what happened to poor Franklin. The explosion went very wrong here, as we can kind of see. What happened? <clears throat> the detonators. They blew too early. Something happened. The guys fucked it up. <laughs> you assholes! Solitary? They're clearing the bubble. Can't see shit for all the smoke right now. There's fire everywhere. I suppose you're pleased with yourself. You better hope nothing's happened to Greetings, my- Greetings, convict asshole. This is your friendly neighborhood prison hacker checking in to say, it's lockdown time. Ooh. Can't see! I am going to destroy everything you love. So we gotta figure out where that is in all this. And there's suffocation risk from the smoke. Okay. Okay, so Long Dark suddenly turned into an action game. Ah, uh, restricted area. I don't know where I gotta go to even, like, find what I'm looking for. That's one of the problems. I hate when games do this. Okay, no, that's the elevator. Um, it can't go that way. Where am I supposed to be going? It can't go that way. Is there some kind of like exit? Oh, here through a vent maybe. God, that's one of my problems I have with games sometimes, where they put you on these things. Like, it's different if you knew where you had to go for it. Oh, I can't even see now. Oh god, no. This is bad design. Yeah, guys, if you're going to make a time section you have to get through, you need to know the layout before you're going to do it. That's terrible design. There's nothing I can say, but that is bad design for how this is supposed to be playing out. Because, where are you supposed to go? You just have... Is that where you're trying to go? No, that's just an exit. So I can't go that way. Again, it's a lot of... You don't know the layout of where you're supposed to go. It would have been different if Mathis... Like, when you're abducted or grabbed by them, they actually show you the route you're supposed to take. Like, trying to use the lighting here as your guide does not work very well. <coughs> and then you can't speed through, like, the sections that you have to be stuck crawling through. Okay, I can't... Can't go through there. There's this here. Um. Oh, here. Like, good God. They. Yeah, this was not thought out very well. Seriously, where am I supposed to freaking go? Maybe here? Oh, and there's nowhere. Oh my god, this was... Oh, there, I think. No, that was terribly designed. That was awful. Uh, 
Okay, at least I have some breathing room here, but... No, that was poor design in every regard. Okay. So, this must be the office here. The hard case. So much trouble. Okay, oh. Oh, we actually have a phone call. Although, we better make this quick. Oh. I'm here. You made it to the warden's office. Good. You better get what you need and get the hell out of there. Quick. Did you cause that explosion? I might have nudged it a bit. But mostly those idiot convicts did it to themselves. The PA in lockdown, however. That was all me. I have the case. Okay. Hang on a sec. Okay, here we are. Warden's office. Okay, so. End of the hallway you just came out of. Take it. You'll end up on the roof. Cross over the building and you'll find a fire escape thingy. Come down there, and you should recognize where you are. I'll meet you at the power plant. I can see lights in the prison yard. Fire. You'd better hurry. The whole security system has gone haywire, and I have no idea how long the lockdown will last. Mathis and Donner could be after you in a minute. Go, go, go! Okay, so... There's our next objective, but yeah, that was a terrible experience. Okay, reach the power plant and meet Jace. Okay, so, yeah, survival mechanics are going to be out the window right now. Gotta find a fire escape. Ah, uh, where? Oh, here we go. Okay, down here. Okay. Okay, so over. And then down. This isn't down, is it? No, that's not down. Okay. Stay out of sight. Okay, so this is Okay, there we go. So now it's turned into a stealth game. Do you see him? And then we'll just tie it again. Make sure. The damn light. Where is he? Oh, crap. This way? Oh. Nope, not this way. Okay. Oh. Was that always open? I feel like that just opened on me. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. Oh, crap. Out of run. Okay. So, how are the patterns working? Oh boy. And I gotta admit, it's quite a difference, like, going through here. Okay, I think we're okay here a moment. Well, I can hear... Oh boy. Okay, that's where we gotta go, so maybe if I can keep behind these. I admit, this one, this part's not too bad.
Ooh. If you let him get away. Okay. He's in the yard. Just going to try keeping the long way around. Let him get away. Ooh, I just heard a shot there. Okay, I think we're through that, though. I gotta be careful, though, because there's probably gonna be more fun stuff through here. Well, at least this is through, again, area I know the layout of. Trying to find that office was a pain at the start of this. Only do that time, like, do a layout if you've been through it before. I think it would have been better if you actually had parts where Mathis, like, led you down to the cell from the warden's office or something. Okay, yeah, so I think it's... I don't know if I... If it matters or not there. So you know what? I'm just gonna... Can't see crap. Oh, there we go. But yeah, now, the rest after that, though... Oh, great. Suffocation risk down here. That's fun. Like, the lights with the prison little area, that was designed just fine. And, like, even this here is not too bad, because you've been through this layout before. You've been down the steam tunnels and kind of recognize where you gotta get through and go through to get to places. But that little bit in the prison with both the suffocation risk and the... your vision going as it lines down, that was just awful. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, crap. Did I just trap... Oh, I know the layout! No, I think I just backed myself up into... a dead end. Oh, God, I did. Or did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, that actually was the way I was supposed to... The pain... Uh, I no oh, great. We got our survival mechanics back. Feels like it's still burning. Yeah, I know, Will, but we kind of can't deal with that right now. We gotta just freaking go. The pain. I think this is the way out, at least. That hurts so much. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, so that area was a little tight trying to navigate. But again, it wasn't as bad because I remembered the area from when we were down there. So let's see just how this is going to go. Okay, can't go in through there. I really need to mind our condition because, like, we took a lot of damage from everything. Relax, Mac. It's me, Jace. Right. Well, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for your help back there. Thanks for yours. That was one hell of an explosion, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what happened there. Well, I might have just had a little bit to do with that. You should have seen Mathis' face. <laughs> that guy had it coming to him. Could you see what was going on? Hacked into the security cameras across the prison. Ah. That's how I was able to keep an eye on you and the rest of it. Well, 
What now? Yeah, I mean, this is as far as my plan went. You have any ideas? We have to get to Atwood. I still don't get it, but yeah, we do. I'm worried about her. With all this going on, she's fragile. Okay. Well. Uh-oh. Shit! They found us. That was faster than I expected. Okay. Well, uh, you have the blueprints, right? How do we get out of here? I don't know. This was the extent of my plan, Mackenzie. Isn't this prison escape gig more your thing? There has to be another way out. Shit! Trapped! This is not how I thought this would end. And things were just starting to look up. Uh, that's kind of a death sentence dunking okay. there. Whatever happens. Oh boy. You're like a bad penny, Mackenzie. I've been called worse. You know, it's amazing to me that a smart ass like you has made it this far. Like I've always told you, you have no idea how stubborn I am. It's too bad being stubborn isn't the same as being smart. And this must be the fly in the ointment. A girl, no less. This is the end of the line for you and your friend, pilot. I'm not afraid of you, asshole. I've been fighting guys like you all my damn life. Well, today, you lose. In more ways than one girl. Mathis. What is Donna. it? The explosion. He's her bad. Oh, are we going to? This wouldn't have happened if not for you. You've been a pain in my ass for too long, pilot. It's time for the bad pay to pay the ultimate price. But first, you can watch me deal with the girl. <laughs> Good. I like them to struggle before they die. Ah, Will. Yes. That's what I like to see, Mackenzie. A little fight. A little will to live. I knew you had it in you. is dying. There we go. I mean, we should have done that sooner, but it's a way out. Oh boy. I thought they were going to kill Will off there, if I'm honest. I really did. I wasn't expecting that. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Black Rock's on fire. Huh? It actually looks warm. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to get out of this. First time I've missed the place. Hey. Hey. Hang in there. I'll, I'll get a fire going. You'll be warm in no time. It's okay. I'm warming up. That is not a good sign, Jace. Just 
Just wait. Hang in there. It it'll be fine. Everything is gonna be fine. I mean, they probably should be dead. I don't want to sound that down about it, but that circumstance. I'm guessing that's maybe Donner's body? I don't know what this is. Astrid. So she made it to Perseverance Mills. Another one in the water. But not drown like the others. Must not be a quarantine breaker then? Quarantine break. Another one? This one is different. Can't be. Watch it. Might be infected. No, not her. Was not expecting this for the end of this episode. What is it? She doesn't look good. Get her some water, now. Astrid, you came. You said you would, and you did. But where is the case? Where is the cure? Okay, so that's what's in the case. Is a antidote or a cure or something. Not how I expected things to play out towards the end here. Like, I thought we would actually get to see Donner himself, and it would be like a lead into this is now a threat to be the finale, but... Yeah, there are some ups and some downs with it. That's kind of been with a few of the different episodes. But... Towards the end there, like, yeah, the only big negative I had was that trying to find the Warden's office in a place you don't know the layout of, you are timed on how you can go around, and you have vision problems because of the time and counting down. That was the only major negative I had to this episode, but it still played out pretty well. It's nice that we actually got to see more characters and more people in the story. I... I am pretty surprised that we had the reveal of what's going on at Perseverance Mills and Astrid this episode. Like, that came out of nowhere. I think it would have been better, and I, I don't think they did, but at the end of episode 3, when it was her for Crossroads Eulogy, have her pushing out on the canoe, and then we have this reveal. Because that would have tied up more. I thought maybe that was going to be like, okay, that was Donner's body pushed out, and Mathis is now manhunt mode after, but... Now, speaking of that, though, that brings into the question, I don't know if Will and Jace should have survived that plunge. It's basically, Arctic waters, they would have... I don't know if they'd been able to, like, get out of that at all, but 
I guess story-wise, it is what it is. I did really think they were going to kill off Will, because all that really needed for the story to kind of keep going forward was Will to hand over the case to Jace, and pass the message on to Atwood. And that, like, could have kept going without him, but I'm glad that they did keep him alive. It was getting tense there with the fight with Mathis. It did seem a little weird at times where Will's able to grab the axe from Mathis and actually, like, wrestle it out, but... Yeah, that was very tense towards the end there. A lot of good points for it were, well... There, again, was some questionable stuff about, like, if you can find a revolver... None of the prisoners were armed with any firearms. If you could have that, I guess canonically, maybe you weren't supposed to have guns in that, and you would have to make do, and it was just... I don't know. I guess I'll, that's the way I have to lean it, is that you don't actually find firearms in higher difficulties, but it would make wolves so much more difficult to try for, like... God, I think that would be really difficult to try going through the story mode on a difficulty without the firearms. But yeah, overall, Fury Than Silence was a very good episode. That was... That was the only major hiccup. The only other hiccup that I really hit was during the mine episodes, where it was down in the talks, or in the suffocating gas. But that was my fault, because I was overloaded for trying to get through some areas. I think that was more... Again, I didn't see the little corner about my weight icon take that in consideration then. But overall, that moved along pretty smoothly. The prison and more like the action sequence through that, that worked fine, and I think that was very good. It was pretty forgiving for like how much time you got to go around the lights, but it still gave you that feel of you're being hunted and searched for. Down the steam tunnels, that's where the like time crunch worked better, because you do remember that layout a bit from like, well, I had to go through back a couple of times for it all, but... I remember the layout a bit and was able to find my way back out. That is the big difference, is if you are going to do a time navigation through a place, it either has to be super obvious where you've got to go, or the person has to have already been through that area to memorize the layout. Other than that, though, it went very well. I deeply enjoyed it, and it's going to be interesting to see how Episode 5 continues, because there's a lot of stuff that is looking to tie together. We know Perseverance Mills, Astrid is already there. So that's something that we don't have to worry about. My guess is we're going to be helping Jace and get to uh, the Suzuki Telescope. Also, nice little Easter egg for the Suzuki name onto it. Very smart choice by the developers for that. And, yeah, like, my guess is Astrid's there, so she's just going to be resting and recovering. It's going to follow Will and Jace as they try to get to the Suzuki Telescope, get the message to Atwood, and then with the vehicles in that, that might be the way to Perseverance Mills, and that wraps that up. But I still feel like Mathis is not done yet. Mathis is going to come back in some regard. He's definitely going to be on them. How he's going to find them or get after them, I'm not sure. But yeah, I feel a little scapegoated by, like, we've been told about Donner, but we don't actually see any, like, representation of him. It's this big, hyped-up, even worse than Mass or worse than Mathis... But nothing comes of it. He just, like, as it's kind of mentioned, dies off screen. So, uh, that was a little bit. Even if we got to see, like, towards the end. Or even better off, I think, would have been having. Instead of the Astrid, like, well, no. See, again, it does kind of fit for Astrid going Perseverance Mills. But maybe even something where we would have had Donner with Mathis. And then they would have been more the threat going... I don't know, there's just, like, things... I know I'm being a bit nitpicky here, but... I just really did enjoy it, and I'm trying to think. I'm a problem solver. If there's something that I noticed that... Maybe this would improve it. Maybe that'd be better. This wasn't so good. This is how. So that's what I'm trying to think of. It does feel pretty scapegoating or gaslighting to say, Donner's big, bad, evil news. And you never see or hear anything about him, really. And it's just, like, thrown to wayside. I think that is a little bit of wasted potential there, but... The rest went very well, and we finally do know who Jace is. Like, when we've seen the intros for the Long Dark episodes in Wintermute, we have seen that she's always been the computers working at stuff, and now we know where she fit into all this. And we do have the proper explanation for... Well, some things. 
One problem I do have is, like, how she phoned us from the, like, in the mine. How does that happen? How do you know we were at the mine to call? Like, that's been one thing. All the other parts actually worked pretty well and did fit, because as she said, she was in the security cameras and able to monitor our progress and what was happening through that. But yeah, other than nit nitpicking, it was a very good episode, and it really builds a lot of hype for whatever this is going to end off with. Episode 5 is, I'm pretty sure, meant to be the finale for Wintermute as a series. And they built up a lot, and we'll have to see. We are getting answers. We know Atwood is an astrophysicist at the uh, Suzuki Telescope, that the Trapper does have a code to relay for Wintermute. It's just like a bunch of stuff that is finally we're seeing tying and coming towards an end. Very interesting and very and very much looking forward to a future episode and the finale whenever it does come out. It will be a while because, again, these things take a lot of time. I'm probably expecting maybe the end of next year we might see episode 5. Just because you have to think about how much this also changed from the regular Long Dark for, like, uh, gameplay stuff. There is... The action mode that we kind of got from going through the lights, or through the spotlights, and that sneaking there, that's pretty different. There was the addition of, like, the uh, suffocating fumes and that. The elevator sequence, like, there was a lot of different stuff really in this episode that expands on the long dark quite a bit for what it could do, but... Enjoyed my time with it quite a bit, I hope you guys did too, and I'll have to see what I'll be doing next after the series is done on the channel. But thank you guys very much for joining me on, still my opinion, the best survival game out there. And again, it fits very well to have the survival stuff as a backdrop for a story unfolding. It has more tension, more thrill, just kind of makes it feel like a more living world and that you have, you don't know if you'll survive it. That really helps build it out and yeah, I just, I keep going on, I'm going to end things off here before I ramp too much.